Welcome to Backyard Plus. In this video, we show you how to troubleshoot a heater relay board in a hot spring and Tiger River spa. Before we get started, let's go over the tools and parts you will need. Tools you will need. Digital or analog multimeter. Parts you will need. 77119 heater board, 77118 heater board, or a 76858 heater relay board. If the red power light or green ready light is flashing on your control panel or the logo lights are flashing in your spa, it means you have a different issue going on. Please see our other videos and blog posts or call our tech support at 805-541-9000. Step 1. Remove the equipment door and the IQ2020 control box lid. Step 2. Turn the temperature to the highest setting on the control panel. The temperature on the control panel must be higher than the temperature of the water. The green ready light on the control panel should be off. Step 3. Look at the diagnostic LED lights on the motherboard. The heater on light should be solid red and the limo K light should be solid green. If not, it means you have either a bad temp sensor, a bad control head, or a bad control box. Please call our tech support for assistance at 805-541-9000. Step 4. Using your multimeter, set the voltage meter higher than 300 ACV. Meters vary in design so you will need to be familiar with yours. Make sure there is a fresh battery in the meter. Step 5. Check the incoming voltage to the heater on the terminal block. In 01 to 09.5 spas, if your spa is wired for 230 volts, you should have 230 between terminals 1 and 3. In spas wired for 115 volts, you should have 115 between 2 and 4. In 09.5 to current spas, if your spa is wired for 230 volts, you should have 230 between terminals 2 and 4. In spas wired for 115 volts, you should have 115 between 5 and 7. Step 6. Once you have established good voltage on your heater circuit, place one lead from your voltage meter onto H1 and the other lead onto H2. It doesn't matter which lead goes into H1 and H2. Step 7. If the heater on light is solid red and you have good voltage coming into the terminal block, you should have 230 volts or 115 volts between H1 and H2, depending on how your spa is wired. If you have no voltage between H1 and H2, it means you have a bad heater relay board. If you have good voltage between H1 and H2 and your spa is not heating, it means you have a bad heater. Thanks for watching! Our goal here at Backyard Plus is to save you money by avoiding costly service calls for repairs that you could easily do by yourself. If you have any questions or need to place an order, feel free to give us a call at 805-541-9000 or visit us online at BackyardPlus.com.